So it's been about a day since I just got my re twist. And you can see, I've just had a chance to like lay flat and everything, how it's looking. Looks really good. It's about six months in. And, you know, these are a lot longer than I thought they would be hitting that six month mark. And it's been a really good show of progress. I started with the comb coil method, which I've learned is a lot of ways people start theirs. You can do comb coils, twists, knots, but I thought the comb coils would be the best method. So I went to a loctician to get mine done, and I decided to not go the free form route with mine. I just wanted to keep them really maintained looking and really neat. I know going the route with locks can be a big risk for some people, and they're a little unsure about if it's the right move for them. I say, honestly, to anybody that's thought about doing it, try it. Just give it a shot, and if you don't like it, I mean, you can always you can comb them out, it's a longer process than cutting them off, but I say go for it, it's worth a shot. My advice and my three main tips to anybody that's interested in starting locks is one, to be patient, is that the locking process, it takes time and then you're not always gonna necessarily love the way they look, it's just part of the process, it's something to get through. And I say it's worth the time and patience and I'm only halfway through the year mark on mine and I know when I hit that year it'll be even different from what they look now. My second tip would be to always take care of your roots and maintain those. So for me what I do is I always sleep with a do-rag at night or anything to wrap your head whether that be a bandana, bonnet, anything. Especially when you're working out too and sweating a lot to keep that all laid down really tight it'll stop a lot of frizziness from happening and just Main, help maintain the overall neatness, help maintain a good look for your locks in general. My third and last tip would be to anybody that's starting dreadlocks is to keep them oiled, which is something I struggle with a little bit, but especially if you have any type of dry scalp or anything, just to keep them oiled. Don't do it too often. You don't want to oversaturate and cause buildup in your locks, but just ever so often, get a little bit of oil in your roots, be it some natural oil, coconut oil, olive oil, tea tree oil, just a, a blend of those to keep them good, nice and moisturized. This is my locks of six months. I should be coming with new videos soon among my lifestyle content, so fashion, more hair stuff, all kinds of stuff. Just stay tuned to see. If you like this video, drop a like. Any advice from me, any feedback on the video, please leave a comment down below. Follow me on my socials, and I'll see you guys in the next video.